Hello, Sci-Hats! I'm back and I bring you another psychedelic tutorial. In this one, I will show you some insights on how to create those glitchy psychedelic basses and sound effects. <laughs> So, you know how it goes, I will play you a part of my track and in this case it is my remix of Jedi Dia's track Mighty Mind, which was released on Indra's compilation Tribal Steps Wall 2, Volume 2. Okay, so take a listen to this part and later I will teach you how to do some of those crazy glitchy psychedelic sounds. <laughs> So yeah, I will teach you some of these crazy glitchy psychedelic sounds and you know, I don't really have time to teach you all of them and it wouldn't be fair since some of those sounds I recreated by watching some other guy tutorials and yes, that wouldn't be fair to, to share their tips and tricks and instead I will show you my tips and tricks. So yeah, mostly I will teach you how to create these three sounds in Serum and in Vital. So let's start. First of all, we will insert a Serum, our good old friend Serum. Yeah, so this sound is really simple. It just all comes down to choosing the right wave out of all of these options of wave that we can choose in Serum. And yeah, so for this sound, I will go to Spectral and I will choose Trilobite 1. So yeah, Trilobite 1 is a really cool wave for this kind of glitchy psychedelic sounds. I use it it glitchy and down tempo, but as well in side trance. And later I will show you how I use it in some faster side trance kind of tracks. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here to get us some two voices, but lower the tune a bit so it isn't detuned that much. All right, all right. I will turn on the filter and keep it low of 12. I will boost the resonance a little bit and drive and fat because we need it to be fat and punchy and crispy. Okay, okay. So here in envelope one, I will lower the sustain totally, no, totally. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on configure here so I can automate the decay here. All right. The decay is important and wave table is really important in this sound and of course filter cutoff. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, great. Uh, I will also put on some distortion on it. Let's see, for example, asymmetric distortion and just keep it like this. Let's hear how it sounds like. You can hear how the changing of the wavetable position changes its harmonic structure and that's what is really cool with this wave. Okay, so let's see. Um, I will just copy and paste this pattern I created before. And now, what am I going to do? I'm going to create an automatization of the decay 
because sometimes we need a long, longer decay and sometimes we need it to be quite short. So, for example, you see this first note, which is war. It needs to be war. So, I will keep the long decay here on. But on the second note, and especially on these short notes, I will lower the decay a lot. Okay, that's too much, but still. Yeah, something like that. Uh-huh. And then I can, I can gradually open up the decay as well. I can also configure the attack as well, because now I see the... Oh, why is it not? Uh, configure attack, yeah. Because now I see that it would be good that the attack is a little bit bigger at the beginning of this note. Yeah, that's a really cool thing in this glitch words to set up a longer attack so it goes wah, wah. Yeah, okay. And of course we will play with filter cutoff and everything else. So let's see how it goes. For example, here, something like this. Wah! And also I see the last note is long as well and I will boost the attack on it as well. Alright, so um, I will get back to Serum and I will turn on the sub oscillator and lower the level down a bit. Because you know, this will function as a bass but since this has two voices and the wave is a bit unstable, you know, it's good to have something that, that is really stable and like a good old sub bass oscillator of a sine wave or something else here, but I think sine wave will do just fine. Uh -huh. Now we have the bass as well. And what I'm going to do is I will going to put some utility on it and click on the bass mono option which is a really good option that came with Ableton 10 I really like that it is so simple to do that now okay so let's play with the wavetable position now so yeah the thing with this wave is that the beginning of its wavetable position is a bit darker but the top of it is much more harsher and uh, brighter so we are gonna play with that at first, I'm not going to open the wavetable position to the end and keep it somewhere where it's darker, but maybe here I can open it and do something like this. Wow, wow, wow. And now you will hear uh, how you open all those harmonic series in it. Yeah, this is really, really glitchy. Okay, but I think you can open up it a bit more here. Uh -huh. And maybe adjust it with a cutoff as well. Okay, so let's play with sound a bit more. I will add Fab Filter Saturn, which I really like. For this kind of distortion just a gentle type of distortion uh, that will boost some uh, frequencies which i need in the mix so for example i will boost yeah okay i will boost the drive a lot and i will boost this band one treble so that we can hear all those upper harmonics a bit better Uh huh. Uh, in the original, I also use Sausage Fettner, this legendary plugin, legendary and mighty plugin. And I think I did something like this. Ah, uh, his face is starting to get gnarly, gnarly. And I will boost the color, like here somewhere, for exactly those frequencies I need. Uh -huh. 
Whoa, shit, shit, sorry. Oh, my ears, damn it. I forgot that in Sausage Fraterna you really need to turn down the gain before you use it. Oh my god, more and more. But yeah, the, this sound is really gnarly right now. <laughs> uh, I will put on some compressor. And now, uh, what will I do with a compressor? Uh, I will put some high attack time. Because I want it to have this compact... Tuk, 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 you know, that this first transient. I want it to be really powerful and really strong and articulated and I will achieve that by putting high attack time on the compressor. So let's see. All right, all right, yeah. And I'll do a sidechain with a kick, of course. So, we click on this little arrow here, we click on sidechain and find kick. And here it is. Wait, I will put it into a loop so I can work properly. Okay, let's hear it with a kick. Yeah, that's really groovy and really glitchy. Okay, so let's put uh, some EQ aids to the whole thing. And uh, maybe after compressor. No, before compressor. No, after compressor. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> mm. After compressor, yeah, we put EQ8 after compressor, okay? So let's see what we have here. Of course, uh, like we need to cut all the low below 30, for example. Mwah, mwah. This is powerful. Maybe I'll add some bass in this area. Yeah, yeah. And maybe I'll lower those. Uh, yeah, those really high frequencies, which are like, like some mouses or something. I don't know. And I'll even add a reverb to it, but I need to be sure that low cut is activated so I don't uh, put a reverb on the bass frequencies of, of the sound. And for size, I don't know, I'll just play a little bit, something like this. I think it's, it sounds pretty cool. Let's hear it in a whole mix. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it with this sound. You know what is the most important thing here. So yeah, playing with all these parameters here, you know, DK, attack, wavetable position, filter cutoff, you can do much more stuff. This is just a pure example of how you do something that you want, but you can do lots of stuff. So, and what I like to do with this stuff is to put more distortions, like little by little, but like two or three units of distortion that will craft a really powerful and gnarly sound. You saw that I used compressor with high attack time in order to get it really articulated. I used some EQ8 and some reverb just on this kind of middle, 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 middle range, which gives it some kind of space 
in which it dwells, this base loves to dwell in space. Utility, base mono, really important. We always need to have our base in mono. And I sidechain it with a kick. Pretty easy, right? I will do our next sound in Vital. Vital, 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 I don't know. Is it Russian or is it American? I don't fucking know. But yeah, it is a new plugin and everybody is talking about this new plugin. So I decided to give it a go and I really like it. Really, really, it's it's quite similar to Serum actually, but but it has some really cool stuff in it. Yeah, it's here. It's here. It looks it looks like this. It's cute. It's sci-fi. It's everything. So for wave, I will use where is it? Hollow FM, something like that. Hall of Distorted FM. Mm. Let's see, you click here to see it's 3D. And I think I use it something from here. Eh, why this, this doesn't go? Ah, okay. Uh huh. That sounds really cool. That, this immediately reminds me of Eat Static when I hear it. Yeah, but I will put it here somewhere just to have some gentle frequency modulation on it. And um, I will add a phaser. No, not a phaser, a chorus. So yeah, a chorus. Let's be clear on that, a chorus. And what I'm going to do here, well, I will lower the depth. Delay 1 and Delay 2, I think they are quite good with this. <laughs> yeah, this chorus really gives you that alien vibe. It is enormous difference uh, without a chorus and with a chorus. So let's say this is okay for now. And now I will add a filter. Analog 12B, low pass, it's okay. And I will create some LFOs which will go on it. So yeah, for this first LFO, it is good to have this trigger mode. So in, in a way, now when you click the note you want, it always starts from the beginning of the LFO, which we want for this first LFO. And I will do this kind of pattern. And for this second LFO, I will also put it here. But I will use a sync mode so that every time you will re-trigger a note, the LFO doesn't stop and doesn't go from the beginning, but it continues to work. And let's create some crazy pattern, I don't know, something like this maybe. And now, when I copy this pattern from original track here, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Maybe we can hear it together with the first sound I made. Yeah, sounds cool. Uh, of course, it is good to put some distortion on this sound as well, but I already show how to do that in the first sound. Uh, maybe I'll boost the bass a little bit here and I will of course do the same thing as I did before. Click on the bass mono on the utility.
And the thing I think you should do while uh, doing this glitchy glitch hop side base bases is that you should always look how loud each and every single one of them is. And I do that with Voxango Span, a free plugin which is really useful for your mixing. And I use it in this high resolution mode. And so let's see, what is the difference between the first sound and the second one? So yeah, you can see that the biggest difference is that this second sound has some upper harmonic somewhere here uh, really boosted and we need to lower it down in order to, uh, to make it sound balanced with the other sound. Yeah, it's, it's this one, okay. And maybe we can boost the first one. So let's see what is Voxengo telling us this time. Mm -hmm. You see, it's really, now it's really balanced and sounds pretty good. So let's hear it in a mix. Yeah, this is just an example of what you can do. I mean, you can hear in my remix of this uh, Jedediah track that you can play with those sounds in lots and lots of ways, different and creative ways. So do it, do it. What are you waiting for? Do it, I had. And now, as I promised, I will show you how I use that glitchy sound in some faster, psychedelic trance kind of track. So check out this part of the track right here. Yeah, okay, so the, this is uh, also a remix I did. Uh, I remix Sans Datum's track uh, Dame Bremage for Bomb Shanka remix competition and uh, so you should check it out as well. But it's really cool how the same type of sound I showed you in that uh, glitchy way is now here together with our dear psychedelic trance kick and bass. You know, but now it's a bit different because it's, I didn't use it as a bass. So I cut it all his low frequencies so it doesn't interfere with the kick and bass here. I added some more reverb. And you know, I also did a thing with compression here. And I configured all these parameters as well. So it sounds like this. So you see, you can use the same sound in glitch up and down tempo and in psychedelic trance as well. <laughs> okay, so that's it, Psyheads. I hope you had fun and I hope you learned something in this psychedelic session with your favorite producer, Clada. <laughs> see you around. Bye.